Rise on the fire, keep it your chest. He's a schoolboy football. A team could rise and a team could fall. But they never will know until the whistle blows around. Come enjoy the show. He's a schoolboy football. The Super Cup and it morphed into the Champions Cup and now we're looking to produce Super Champions and we start with a quarterfinal round Dintil Technical versus Kingston College from the National Stadium in St. Andrew, Jamaica. Welcome to our live coverage on your home of champions as the two teams make their way out onto the playing field. Kingston College versus Dintil Technical. Kingston College, two-time champions of this tournament. Dintil Technical, they have gotten to the final once, but you could consider them the nearly boys because they haven't been able to lift the title just yet. Can this be the year? There are the KC boys. Usually you would say they're customary purple and white but it looks slightly different this afternoon all four quarterfinal matches being contested today in the champions cup towards saint elizabeth technical high school and two here at the national stadium in kingston clarendon college st george's college to come later on as uh, the teams get through the formal proceedings. <laughs> the dignitaries, sponsors, ISA officials being introduced to the players led by each captain. In blazing sunshine here at the National Stadium and a spattering of supporters. Ricardo Chambers alongside Lijay Williams for this encounter and usually would have the Champions Cup, the All-Island knockout. Leger played on a Saturday, but of course, um, because of the heavy downpours that we had late last week, the matches had to be rescheduled. But here we are on a Tuesday afternoon, and the football is expected to be no less exciting. Exciting indeed. We've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. Two really good encounters. We'll have on the broadcast today another two encounters down at St. Elizabeth Technical, but this Dintil versus KC clash is something I think that can be for the ages. The nearly boys, you're saying Dintil and KC, the winners, as they would put it themselves. So I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Yeah, the officials for this contest led by Kessler Anderson, first assistant Andre Smith, Kendorda Hall, the second assistant, and Malika Reed, the fourth official for this encounter. Experienced cast for this Kingston College versus Dintil technical encounter. Well, let's start then with a look at the Dintil technical lineup. And they are playing a 4-4-2 with the experienced goalkeeper Asher Hutchinson. The back four, Jordan Redison, Raheem Harris, Richard Hewitt, and Malik White with Gabriel Anderson, a late replacement for Tayamba Chin, Raphael Smith, Shamir Hutchinson, and Zidane Clark in the middle. Tyrese Gow and Giovanni Afflick are the two up front. They have scored 33 goals this season between them. They are coached by O'Neill Thomas. Yeah, Tyrese Gow has been one of the danger men in schoolboy football this season. He'll be looking to make his mark in this big game. Kingston College. There is their lineup. Malik Williams will be in goal. Robert Sow, O'Neill Bryan, Rajay Zimenez, and Kimani Reese at the back. Dejon Green, the Wilmers transfer, Jaheim McLean and Alex Hislop in the middle with Damien Smith and Demaria Daly, the only man to get into double figures in terms of goal scored this season with 14 for Kingston College up front. They are coached by Vassar Reynolds, no stranger to winning this title, no stranger to winning knockout titles. Yeah, Demaria Daly has to get it done for Kingston College up front today. You mentioned the fact that he was the only person that has scored double figures goals for Kingston College thus far. A lot of pressure on his young shoulders. He says that his idol is Dujan Whisper Richards. 
he's going to have to step up to that mantle today as Richards did last season in this very competition, in this very stadium. Very much the case, a terrific semi-final performance from Deshaun Richards to lead Kingston College to the final. Ultimately, they were not good enough for Jamaica College. And there is Demario Daly, 14 goals to his credit this season, just 16 years old. So still at a relatively early stage of his senior schoolboy football development and can still offer a lot to the Kingston College fraternity going forward. Dintil Technical so often in the picture. Uh, they played the Champions Cup final in the 2021-2022 season, lost to Clarendon College. A Kahim Dixon goal doing the damage. We'll see Dixon later on for CC in their first round encounter against St. George's College. Quarterfinal action in the Champions Cup for the 2023 season. Kesta Anderson gets the contest on its way. And uh, Asha Hutchinson banging it long, looking for Zidane Clark for Dindil Technical. And right away, they lose possession. And they get it right back. Oh, here's a shot. Oh, that's superb. Tyrese go. He's been impossible to stop this season. Impossible to stop. Tintil lead by a call to nail with only 30 seconds on the clock. Big players do big things at great times. Well, he didn't need any time, Tyrese go. That strike came out of nowhere. And we said that he was one of the danger men in schoolboy football. He wasted no time to show us why. Giovanni Afflick poked, poked that one away. That definitely wasn't a poke, though. Strong, strong effort, and Dintil within a minute are ahead in this one. That's exactly what Tyrese Gall can do. We haven't even spoken much about him, but he strikes the ball ferociously, does Tyrese Gall, and we've seen a number of those goals from him this campaign. And what a way to introduce himself to the Champions Cup. That was a Champions goal to get us underway at the National Stadium. They have possession again, Dintil. Zidane Clark. Shamir Hutchinson. Was looking for go. Just the start that Dintil Technical would have wanted. Kingston College, especially on the Vassar Reynolds is the type of team that can really stifle you, especially in these knockout fixtures. But when you can score an early goal, it can really change the dynamic of the contest because it forces KC to chase the game. Yeah, immediately the game state has flipped into a way that Kingston College wouldn't have wanted. And they know, as you mentioned, have to chase the game. And Dintil can now settle down into playing their natural game which is a patient ball playing one as we see Zidane Clark in some discomfort there early on here's where it came from. I'm not quite sure where the contact came but he is in quite some pain the usual Kingston College Calvary doesn't seem as if they're here as yet well, I'm sure they'll be coming into bad news, Ricardo. Yeah, for sure. Just three minutes on the clock. Dintil Technical got the opening goal with just 30 seconds on the clock. There's Anil Thomas, their head coach. The latest man charged with taking Dintil Technical to the promised land. It has been 
10 years of real quality from their setup without winning a title. Vassa Reynolds, head coach of Kingston College, taking over from Raymond Watson. He has won the Champions Cup and the Walker Cup with his time at Wilmer's Boys, won the Da Costa Cup with Rasiz as well. No stranger to winning titles, no stranger to these big moments. Dintil once again on the front foot. And they'll have a free kick. Dintil immediately looking to exploit the space here at the National Stadium. Looking to get balls in behind this Kingston College defense, trying to unsettle them early. It's going to be Tyrese Go again to whip this one in. Shamir Hutchinson joins him. What you would expect, goal. Oh, leaves it for Hutchinson. Back to goal. He is dispossessed. Cleaned up at the back door by Jordan Redison. KC have to be careful. It was a defensive mistake that allowed goal the shot to get them the opening goal. Yeah, good pressure from Dintil. You see another example of it in that instance. The attempted cross blocked and this one goes behind. And Dintil technical corner kick coming up there first of the contest. before it got in and that's going to be a Kingston College goal kick yeah a bit too much whip on that one from Hutchinson it's going to be Casey looking to build up the short way from the back a lot of experience for Shamir Hutchinson one of three Hutchinson brothers in this dental technical setup was in the team that got to the 2021-2022 final. Kingston College in possession now. Hislop running into traffic. Flag up on this near side. expected a better crowd so far especially with Kingston College in action because they travel with huge support Smith for goal goal for Hutchinson Hutchinson knows he can produce better passes than that and there was a free pass to his right didn't pick out that one however But if Kingston College were not aware of the quality of Tyrese Gall, they certainly are now. His 21st goal of the season to give them the advantage. And open his Champions Cup campaign. Here's Raphael Smith on the ball for Dintil. Now with Jordan Redison, back to his goalkeeper, Asha Hutchinson. Good work at the back. Well, good work from Smith. You 
can expect Shamir Hutchinson in the middle to be really springing those passes for Dintel Technical. A lot of fluidity early on from Dintel Technical. Already seen a lot of switching of positions amongst the ranks. I think one thing we've learned this season is to not count out Kingston College by any means. I've always found a way to get through adverse times. That's a lovely ball to Raphael Smith. Dental technical again, and Smith trying to get it around Malik Williams. No success on that occasion. And it goes behind for a goal kick. And he was there, midfielder tracking back for Kingston College there. Jaim McLean, who scored the all-important goal against St. Andrew Technical in the Manning Cup quarterfinals for them, virtually ensuring their place in this Champions Cup. Three times Kingston College have been to the final of the All Island knockout. Won it twice. And of course, lost last season to Jamaica College. Brian with that long ball. Goal kick is what will come from it. There's the main Smith, a 17-year-old. Quite a nickname he's got. Messi. Shows the type of faith his teammates and friends must have in him. Must be pressure. Twelfth minute. Didn't tell up by a goal. And they attack with purpose again with Affleck. Oh, this is good football from Dintel. Casey managing to deal on that occasion. Almost living on the back foot. Kingston College not stringing together too much attacking wise so far. Coming up for Kingston College. Reese with the throw. Picks up Brian. The transfer from Titchfield High School. There's Kimani Reese. Netted once this season. We love another one today. <laughs> Kingston College still struggling a bit to get their attacking play going. It is a hot afternoon, so. We're not seeing a, a game of frantic tempo by any means. Oh, 
Fredrickson goes long. It's comfortably handled by Brian. Cole has it. Cole does well. Dintel heading forward again. There's a drive from distance. I'm not sure if he was always playing as part of a front two Tyrese goal, but seems to be employed up front now. Whereas, at least when I saw him earlier this campaign, he was more playing a midfield role. Yeah, I think he is playing up front, but as we see with a lot of modern strikers, he is one to drop deep and really have freedom to pick up certain type of pockets. As we saw in the play not too long ago, where he dropped basically 30 yards from his own goal. As a player of his quality, he does have that freedom. It's going to be important for Kingston College to pick him up when he makes those drops. 15th minute. Shot and target for either team. Shot produced a goal for Kingston College for Dintel Technical. Not the case for KC. Hutchinson chips this one over the top. Another important point because of the heat, we're not seeing too much of a press from either team. So a lot of the midfield players. I would say especially for Dean to have a lot of time on the ball. Yeah, space opening up here for Kingston College. Here's a chance to test Hutchinson. That's a good block. And then the shot that scrapes the crossbar and goes over. Best moment of the contest for KC. Damien Smith with a drive. Asher Hutchinson thought he might have been in trouble for a second, but went just over. Yeah, the best Kingston College have looked so far, and it came from breaking down that Dintel technical, I would say more of a mid-block, one turn in the midfield, and it opened up countless attacking opportunities, or countless upper attacking spaces for Kingston College. And they almost took advantage of it there. Devin Smith almost getting his third goal of the school point football season. He's going to have to come again. When it comes to this competition, there are no easy matches. And there was a time when 16 teams would qualify for this competition, but in recent seasons, we've only seen eight, four from the rural area, the Costa Cup, and four from the urban area, Manning Cup. Dintel Technical attacking dangerously again. Go with the back heel. Not too sure he knew what was really happening behind him. They're still in position. Oh, here's the chance, a 2-0. Pushed over the top by Malik Williams. Shamir Hutchinson on the prowl. Kingston College surviving, corner kick for Dintel. Yeah, Shamir Hutchinson, very, very dangerous player, driving forward there. Got the better of Ziminis very easily. And that's a shot that definitely needed saving from Malik Willis, Williams. Don't know how you forget your namesake. <laughs> 19th minute, and Dintel have reason to wave their flags.
first encounter of the Champions Cup this season. Garvey Maceo versus Heidel taking place at St. Elizabeth Technical High School as we get to the water break here at the National Stadium. Garvey Maceo leading Heidel by two goals to one in that contest. Started at 2 p.m. So they are in second half action at St. Elizabeth Technical High School. Malik Williams is down after that save with that ferocious drive from Shamir Hutchinson. Dintel Technical in a fabulous position. For the first time in the history of this competition, there are those who feel that the Da Costa Cup teams could sweep the semi-final places. Leje Williams is one of them. Yeah, I was the only one I was a bit iffy about was the Garvey Maceo Heidel game. I think that was a game that I saw going very closely. But yeah, I would not be surprised at all if all four Da Costa Cup teams got through to the semi-finals of the Champions Cup. Da Costa Cup, especially at the top this season, very, very strong. But we do have a lot of game time left in this game, as well as two other games to be played. Can't talk too soon. And Dintel, they have a corner coming up now. As soon as they return from this water break. And there's Radain Reed, their number 14, a late addition to the starting lineup as well. Seems as if Dintel made a few late changes. Radain Reed, one of them. There's Shamir Hutchinson. He's having a lovely game so far. And it's a wonderful time for him to have it. Started at Mount Pleasant Academy before transferring to Dintel Technical. Oh, that's not a very good corner kick. It's worse than the last. And that's his worst contribution of the afternoon, which has predominantly been good. Yeah, Shamir Hutchinson is a very good player in my estimation. Doesn't quite get the goal contributions that I think his talents would warrant. Casey heading forward. Smith. Alex Hisla. Green wins a throw, does he? No, it goes Dintil's way. Dejon Green, the Kingston College, number eight. Might at times think that he is playing against his former school, Wilmers, because of the colors he sees in front of him. 18 years old now. Couldn't get a title at Hero Circle, would love to get one done at North Street. Casey dangerously heading forward. Growing into this game, Kingston College, and the cross is right at Hutchinson, who is competent enough for that not to be a bother. Yeah, I'm sure it's a Big deal for Dintil to retain the services of Acha Hutchinson. Goalkeeper that was. Here's got the other end for Dintil Technical. Was well marshaled on that occasion. Yeah, Asha Hutchinson, a goalkeeper that was called up to the national senior team last season due to his exploits with Arnett Gardens. So for him to still be playing the Costa Cup football, I'm sure is a big plus. The calmness that he exudes off and on the ball, the leadership as well. Done in that captain's armband, so really big plus for this Dintel program. Delivery not well cleared, picked up by Hutchinson. Of course, Asha Hutchinson, Shamir Hutchinson brothers and then and there's also a third Hutchinson, Shavari, who is on the bench.
fantastic footballing family. And their father played at the Premier League level as well. Smith for Dintel. Kitsi scrambling. Affleck battling and wins it for Dintel Technical Giovanni Affleck. Has 13 goals to his credit this season. After an inning 21 last season, Giovanni Affleck, the big number 20 for Dintel Technical. Haven't been quite as accurate or slick with their passing as they usually are, understandably so. Dintel Technical. But they have the lead 24 and a half minutes into this contest. Courtesy of that man, Tyrese Gow. He's the one who has already done what Affleck did last season. 21 goals to his credit. What a player, what a right foot. Hasn't put a foot wrong. Not in this one at least. That's very good defensive work from Raphael Smith. Fighting off Armani Broomfield. Can see themselves with a few late changes to their original starting setup. Kimani Reese with the throw. Oh, beautifully won there. By Hutchinson and Affleck was trying to head forward. Dintel still with possession. Finding goal out wide. Affleck comes forward to give him an option. Decides against it. Still goal. Does very well to maintain possession of the ball. And Dintel Technical showing patience here and will look to build from the back. Here is Bredesen. For Smith. Well, that ball has been given away. And the Kingston College can try and mount an attack. Until very patient at the back. I think they're trying to lower in this Kingston College press that isn't forthcoming. So it leads them to doing that, playing the ball over the top when any sort of pressure is put on. I think if they take a little bit more time around the back to really lower in Kingston College, I think they'll get the space in the midfield that that patient build-up can bring. Daly. The Kingston College number nine is down. That's not a sight that they want to see. The only KC player to have hit double figures in terms of goal score this campaign. They feel they really need him this afternoon. Redison. Clark back to his goalkeeper, Hutchinson.
Raphael Smith. Bredesen with a loose pass, gives up possession. And that's a delightful ball for KC. A shot will come in, and so will a block. Appeal for a penalty, and KC have it. Handball, Richard Hewitt. And Kingston College with an opportunity to level from the spot. It was a loose play from Redison in all aspects there, giving the ball away and then allowing the space in behind for Demario Daly. And once he got the ball in that sort of position, he was always going to go for the shot. That hand definitely was extended, and it definitely is a sure penalty. And it's going to be the Kingston College captain to step up to take it. Absolutely no doubt about the call from referee Kester Anderson. Robert Saul stands behind it. So much experience under his belt, Saul. Has won titles with Kingston College and has a glorious chance to get them back into this game. Hutchinson dances on his line. Saul puts it in and Kingston College are level. 1-1. One, one. Dintel Technical dominating the contest. A moment of complacency may be leading to the penalty. And the Kingston College captain, Robert Sow, steps up to make this contest 1-1. One, one. Even if only barely. Yeah, it was a penalty that was almost placed too well directly in the upper 90 hit the corner of the post there but it definitely went in no controversy there but Dintil shooting themselves in the foot in that instance to allow Kingston College to get back into this one and they'll have to refocus now and 30 minutes after the first and here come Kingston College again Exactly what Dintel Technical didn't want. Clark sends it forward, picks out Gull. Gull comes under tremendous pressure from Saul. Oh, Gull does brilliantly to escape his man. And Dintel continue to head forward. Gull was apparently to make the run out wide. Never happened. Casey's crumbling at the back again. Dintel building pressure. Clark goes out to Raphael Smith. Here's Clark again. Thought about a shot, decided against it. Spreads it wide for Smith. The left-footed cross comes in. It's over the top behind. Goal kick coming up for Kingston College. Yeah, good build-up play from Dintel, but the final pass execution wasn't the best. Fourth minute. Kitsi have found a way back into this one. Once again, the back heel doesn't work from Gall, but position is regained by Dintil. 
Long diagonal ball coming in. Raphael Smith has position. Shamir Hutchinson will Smith retain. Reed still Dintel on the front foot. Good defending from Sal. Got assistance and KC able to clear the danger momentarily. Great work from Dejon Green. I think now Kingston College can go back to their initial game plan. Well, as if we weren't seeing it before. Sitting a bit deeper and trying to hit on the break. Didn't feel really in control of this game, but took themselves out of it by conceding that penalty. Redison. Field for KC Smith now for Dintel. Redain Reed. Oh, he's showing some skill. Go. So correction, apparently there was a jersey swap between Deshaun Byfield and Armani Broomfield. Thought it was a late change that the Kingston College setup had made. And Deshaun Byfield is now sporting the number 19 jersey. And that's why we were confusing him with Broomfield. Casey driving forward once again. Now they look for the go-ahead goal. Jaheim McLean makes the run. Daly loses possession though. Hutchinson for goal. That's a good combination for Dintel Technical. And goal with unbridled ambition. Deciding he would try and take on Malik Williams. I actually think he was a pass he was trying to execute to the unrushing Raphael Smith. Just a very difficult technique to execute. Proved too difficult for even him. Thirty seventh minute, Casey in possession. And they have a chance to test Hutchinson in goal. Damien Smith run out of real estate. Some good work, some good teamwork at the back as well for Dintel Technical. They yeah, didn't end up panicking in the end, and Damien Smith. Ran it out. Malik White had an outstretched boot. Fortunately for him, didn't clip Smith. And at the other end, Malik Williams is down. And in extremely difficult conditions at the National Stadium, even for the fans, the players get an opportunity to take a water break. Hot and humid, but enough time for Vassar Reynolds to reinforce what I'm sure his boys already know, the game plan. And I'm sure he'll be pleased with how his team has responded in some aspects. Following first this strike, his team trying to play out early. Affleck pinching it. And then Tyrese go with a thunderbolt from the top of the box. 30 seconds into the game. But then Kingston College winning themselves a penalty. Robert Sow, their captain, their center back, tucking it home. And after I think what's now 39 minutes, it's one all. Yeah, download the Sportsmax app and watch scoreboard football from across the island.
of Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago as well. Of course, this game being shown live on Sportsmax Plus, which you can only get on the Sportsmax app. So if you're watching, message your friend and tell them exactly where they can view this one and the one that's coming up next as well. Clarendon College versus St. George's College, two former champions going head to head in the opening round of this year's competition. Kickston College, the Purples, another former champion of this cup. Won it twice. There are many who did not expect them to be at this stage. The likes of Jamaica College, Salandra Technical, favored coming into the season. But somehow they got out of the group of death in the quarterfinal round. Having gotten out of the group of death in the first round, and only did they get out of that first round group of death, they topped it. And along with Heidel, who are also in the semi-finals, I guess speaks to the quality that was in that group. Some would say there was some amount of luck along the way. Others would say you create your own luck. And I'm sure that it's the latter that the Kingston College fraternity will be going with. Similar to how they got the penalty this afternoon, actually. So Tyrese go there trying to get some recovery going, stretching out. Extremely important player for this Dintel setup. Malik Williams looks ready to go again in goal for Kingston College. And outside of the opening goal, which he had no chance against, hasn't really been tested since then, despite the dominance, I think, Dintel Technical have shown in possession. Yeah, but the possession hasn't been really turning the wheels and turning into shots for them. Kingston College doing well, defending deep, not letting anything really get in behind them. And until unable to pass through them so far. 42nd minute, you can expect time to be added on for stoppages. We've had a few in this first half. been the hottest day I've felt in a while to be honest and the humidity here is ridiculous you think they would have preferred playing in the rain maybe not Chance for Tyrese go to whip one in here as the first half ticks to a close. Go. Comes out to Clark. Lifts it wide. Picked up by Harris. Poked into touch for a dental technical throw. Richardson for Shamir Hutchinson. Dintel's possession again. Richardson with the throw. Hutchinson whips the cross in. There's a great opportunity to strike at goal. Well wide of the mark from the left foot of Raheem Harris. And showing why he hasn't been the most clinical in front of goal this season, especially on his weaker left side. Only one goal this season for Raheem Harris. Might have even been a header. Kissy. 
can they take the lead before the break? Isla. That's not a bad delivery. That's a great delivery. And Shaheem McLean heads it home for a Kingston College lead. Somehow, they have come from behind. And they lead Dintel Technical by two goals to one on the stroke of half time. Jaheim McLean, the 17 year old, with his fifth goal of the season. You can never count them out. He's already scored an important goal this season. And he's come now to score probably an even more important one in this Champions Cup quarter final. Goalkeeper, goalkeeper Acha Hutchinson in no man's land, really, when the cross comes in, ended up diving at nothing at all. Because once he had dived, the ball had already beaten him and had already gone into the back of the net. And Kingston College have again found some reserve. And they've come from behind to lead now in this Champions Cup quarterfinal. Wow. Somehow, it's the Intel Technical who must now come from behind to win it. Hutchinson. Now that is definitely unbridled ambition now we look to the fourth official to see how much time will be added on at the end of this first half unsurprisingly it's all of five minutes last score we heard from Stets Garvin Maceo led Heidel by two goals to one KC have rallied here to hold a 2-1 advantage over Dintel Technical. Dintel Technical with Tyrese Gull. Cuts it inside to Hutchinson. Hutchinson was trying to step it through for goal again. Might have had enough space to head forward and take a shot at goal. Shamir Hutchinson decided to be unselfish. And on that occasion, that might not have been the best option. Yeah, looking for his talisman on that occasion. But as you mentioned, the wiser option probably would have been to take on the shot himself. Giovanni Affleck, the 13 goal man. He too has to come to the party for Dintel Technical. It's one thing to score goals aplenty in the early stages of these competitions, but these are the matches you want your best players to show up. It's a long ball. Affleck was hoping it would get to him, it didn't. KC. Oh, that's not a bad ball. Hutchinson is off his line. Penalty for sure. KC with an opportunity to go 3-1 up before the break. Asha Hutchinson gets yellow. And Dintel Technical are going to be seriously in the red. They're imploding before our very eyes, Ricardo. Excellent striker play again by Demario Daly. Slipping that one through. And my, my. He certainly got contact, however minimal, Hutchinson. Enough contact to send Byfield tumbling to the turf, and he knew it. There was no doubt about it. That one was going to be called a penalty. The second one for Kingston College this afternoon, and an opportunity to go 3-1 up once again. Their captain, Robert Sow, Stands behind it. Dintel fans are shocked. Someone is saying it's the first they are hearing that. I'm not sure exactly what the referee was suggesting to him. He dances on the line again. So, focuses. So steps up, Stow strikes it, low to the right, Hutchinson dives, doesn't get a touch onto it, and Kingston College from a goal down are 3-1 up in first half stoppage time against Dintel Technical. 
Football is a crazy game. A really crazy game. And I'm sure Kingston College embraces the crazy part of it because they always tend to get the better of these crazy results. And now going into the second half, going into half time, their captain has a brace. They have three and they have overcome a first minute Dintil goal to now lead 3-1 in the first half. Shell shocked, Dintil technical. But this is why you never count out Kingston College. Even without the superstars, they shine. Zedan Clark put in till. He's looking to lift it forward with Affleck making the run. KC now seeming so comfortable. That's the whistle. That sets us the end of the first half. For most of it, Dintel Technical were in cruise control. A first minute strike and a brilliant one it was from Tyrese Gull gave them the advantage. And they dominated for the first half an hour. And then Kingston College with a stroke of fortune, or maybe a touch of fortune, got the equalizer from the penalty spot. And then they got two more goals some would say all against the run of play but it's kingston college who are not playing around and at half time they have a 3-1 lead over dintel technical at the national stadium in kingston Well, La Liga on Sportsmax 2, Friday, 3 p.m. for ECT, Alaves versus Granada. Then on Saturday, 8 a.m., 9 ECT, Barcelona. They will be away to Raya Vallecano. Hetafe, Almeria. That Saturday, 12.30 p.m., 1.30 ECT, again on Sportsmax 2. And back at the National Stadium in Kingston. Kingston College rallying from a goal down to lead Dintel Technical by three goals to one. Ricardo Chambers alongside the Jay Williams for this one. And the Jay for sure. Dintel will be wondering how on earth they are two goals behind. Yeah, I'm sure their coach would have given them a, a roughing up in that half time dressing room. Not enough effort i think from them playing a bit too slow as well understandable due to the heat but i think they're the architects of their own demise in that first half they're looking to cut out those mistakes and try and at least get an early goal again in the second half to really push kingston college yeah pretty much paid for every mistake they made in that first half now they need a massive effort to get through to the last four. Kingston College have made seven appearances in the nine editions of this All-Island knockout. From the Super Cup to the Champions Cup, they have been to three finals and they have won the title twice. Didn't tell, just once they have made it to the championship match, but they've never won the title. Lost to Clarendon College by a goal to nil the 2021-2022 campaign. 
Yeah, if it's anything, at the very least, Kingston College know, knows how to win these type of games over the years. And they have a coach who knows how to win these type of games as well. Kingston College are throwing now. Very well organized so far in this game, KC. You would think that with the clock going beyond four o'clock, things would be cooling down, but it seems to be heating up. We're not talking about the football. Affleck premature with his pass. Yeah, not for the first time. Go has been a bit off the... Hasn't been on the same page with his teammates. Kingston College. Dangerously going forward. Good work from Richard Hewitt. It was his hand that cost them that second penalty and ultimately the third goal. Garvey Maceo leading Heidel by three goals to one. Glenn Muir and Mona locked at Nilo. Jaheim McLean with a corner kick for Kingston College, who are 3 1 up. And Raphael Smith headed the ball behind for another corner kick. Second corner kick of the contest coming up for KC. They had none in the first half. Jaheim McLean scored the second goal for Kingston College. Lovely header. This one is taken short for Hisla. And Dintil can come away with it. Another fighting performance this campaign from the Purples. And they continue to defy the odds. Here they come again. This is a neat little build up, but it's broken down. Smith won the throw for Dintel Technical in a battle with Reese. In fact, it's a free kick. And Richard Ewart. Substitution now for Dintel Technical. Malik McKenzie is on for Jordan Redison. I think that's going to mean that we're going to see Tyrese go now drop back into midfield. A bit of a shuffle over of the system. Raheem Harris probably now is going to play a bit deeper as well. With a third centre back out of possession. So some shuffling. It's happened early in the second half. Let's see what type of impact it can have. Support building slowly but surely inside the National Stadium. Here in Kingston, Jamaica, Kingston College up by three goals to one, having gone behind after 30 seconds. There's the substitute, Malik McKenzie. What sort of impact can he have on this game?
Tiffany's for Smith, for Hislop. Now Dintil. Shamir Hutchinson. Affleck. Switches the direction of the attack. White with a good cross. But it evades all the Dintil technical players and provides a comfortable clearance for So, who is on a double from the penalty spot. Casey nip the ball away. And they escape with Domain Smith. Cops it inside. Lips it out wide for Alex Hislop. Smith arrives. Decided against the shot. Went for the cross. Hutchinson does brilliantly. That's terrific goalkeeping. Because that had 4-1 written all over it. Had he not been able to get a hand onto it. Yeah, I, I don't like the defensive intensity I saw from Dintil there, basically allowing Kingston College into their fight, their defensive third. I saw four Dintil players still not retreating to defend there. And it's allowing Kingston College some really easy counter-attacking transitional moments. Good cross by Smith. Hutchinson had to be at full stretch in that instance. And then now they have to deal with a free kick. Then to leave in a lot of gaps in their defense. Free kick coming up for Kingston College. A season ago, this would be Dijon Richards and Dijon Richards alone to take this one. Kimani Reese, he can strike it. May feel this one belongs to him. Reese steps up, leaves it. Well, that fell apart. Quite quickly as well. And didn't look to get things started quickly also. to sixth minute. Casey on the front foot with Damien Smith. Into the path of Alex Hislop. Back to Smith. Smith with another wonderful delivery and Kingston College are somehow not 4-1 up. It's poked over the top. What a glorious opportunity. 4-4-1. Four, four, Until yet again at sixes and sevens are around the back. It was Robert Sow invading that space again. Jay McLean with the last touch. That would have been his second of the afternoon. It should have been his second of the afternoon. What thing you'll have to say, Lejay, and I think we have said it already, outside of the opening goal, we haven't seen much in terms of goal mouth play for Dintil Technical. They haven't really tested Malik Williams in goal, whereas Asha Hutchinson has had a few scary moments outside of the goals. Yeah, because of the possession early, I think we were possibly led to believe that Dintil were 
dominating team, but I think as we're seeing, especially since he's gone to one all, Kingston College has really been pushing into the ascendancy. Not seeing it enough, I think, from this man on screen, Tyrese Go, or his strike partner at the start of the game, Giovanni Affleck, for good measure. Not quite seeing the slickness or the movement that we've grown accustomed to seeing from Dintel at the start of the season either. Kingston College are really controlling this one. Reese down the line. Dintel wins it. I think getting a second goal would give Dintil some real hope. Possibly increase the tempo of their play. Until then, it's going to be a toil. Acrobatics. Not good enough. From Malik White. At least it was a cute moment. Here he is again, White. There are options. And Dintel go forward. White is out wide this time. That's not a bad delivery. And here's a glorious chance. Missed a shot. And now Kingston College will clear comfortably with Reese. Have to hit the target there. Have to hit the target there, Lejay Williams. Yeah, G was Giovanni Affleck at that back post. Had all the time in the world, maybe too much time in the end. That's a man that they would have wanted that chance to fall to, but what's the term they use here? Water knee. Nothing on it. It's the second game I've done this season with Dintil. That's the third clear-cut opportunity that Giovanni Affleck has not taken. You at least have to hit the target from there. But I think because Kingston College consistently tuck in their left-back Ziminis, it has led to a lot of gaps appearing on that right-hand side for Dintil. That's something that Kingston College will have to sort out sooner rather than later. We can see Ziminis trying to almost man mark Malik McKenzie. And already we're seeing the right hand side being exploited again. Yeah, there was the long ball looking for McKenzie. Comes to Domain Smith for Kingston College and they head forward once again. And there's some amount of danger here. Demaria Daly gets taken down free kick coming up for KC in another dangerous position and a yellow card comes out is the second one of the contest and Richard Ewart the man who gave up the second penalty is the man who gives up the free kick on this occasion and he sees yellow for the first time Yeah, the man who gave up the first penalty. Of course, Asha Hutchinson gave up the second. Six to first minute. Kingston College have looked more likely to go to four than Dintel have looked to go to two. Well, now we know why it was so quiet inside the National Stadium. That's because most of the fans here are Clarendon College fans. And as that one is packed over the top, the Clarendon College team have made their way inside the venue. And that's the reason for the uproar in the background. They are the people's favorites. And they'll take on St. George's College in the second encounter. Kingston College. 
smacked over the top from Demaria Tedi. Can't add to his 14 goals this campaign, but he's looking more and more dangerous and getting into some good positions here in the second half, 62nd minute. Yeah, I think this game has turned into something that Dintil wouldn't have wanted a transition first. And probably not on the better side for them. Kingston College getting chance after chance. And they're not exploiting the space in behind enough, I think. Can see a lot of frustration from the players as well. Probably not sticking to their duties. It's all unraveling here for the team from St. Catherine. KC will surely want to put one of these away. Even with a two-goal advantage, so much can happen. As they showed at the back end of the first. White wins it for Dintil. He's hoping to find the substitute, Malik McKenzie. But it's KC who dangerously goes to the other end. Last we heard from the rural area, Garva Maceo leading Heidel, nil all between Glenmuir and Mona. Here at the National Stadium, Kingston College 3-1 over Dintil, Clarendon College and St. George's College to come. Is there a way back for Dintel Technical? They'll need that man on the park, Giovanni Affleck. 34 goals in the last two schoolboy football campaigns. How he would love even one today. Mackenzie got the call. Dintil technical with the free kick. With the ball striking that Tyrese Go has, this has to be seen as a big chance for Dintil. Especially when they're not creating as they would like to. There is no doubt who is going to take it. There is no doubt what he's going to do. That one was struck along the ground and well handled by Kingston College. Gaul gets it back.
one by Redane Reed. And the KC once again do really well. Smith. Not well controlled by Alex Hisler. Another title winning member of this Kingston College setup. There's the main Smith there, number two. With two goals this season. And a quality performance today. His deliveries have been excellent. That's a good cross. That's a fabulous goal. It's Giovanni Affleck who is on the end of that one. And there is life in Linstead because Dintel are in this contest. Affleck comes to the party. He said that he needed to turn up. He got a second chance in this one. And he definitely did turn up. Turned this one home expertly. Really good finish from Affleck. A striker's finish coming across his defender. And he did really well there. And this game has life. Two experienced campaigners on this Dintel technical team combining for that second goal, Shamir Hutchinson. And Affleck, who in my opinion hasn't been at his best in recent games, showing exactly what he's capable of there. Here's another ball coming in, the header on. That's a pretty good block. That provides a pretty comfortable catch for Malik Williams. And in the 69th minute of this encounter, it's far from over. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of players fall victim to fall victim to the heat now and apparently commentators as well <laughs> a lot of cramps all over a kc player two dintel players and they're not just limited to cramps of the feet but of the brain <laughs> saint george is walking out for their clash with Clarendon. No brain cramps for them. They had to survive a tough final quarterfinal round encounter against Jamaica College to make it here to the Champions Cup. And the semi-finals of the Manning Cup led by their very experienced technical director, Neville Burtis Bell, who has been a tower of strength for the entire St. George's College fraternity and they know they are up against it today against Clarendon College who will be coming all guns blazing Domain Smith comes off, Otavian Holloway comes on for Kingston College. Jaim McLean has also been replaced by Kajay Fletcher. Ball out wide for Holloway. That's not a bad shot, but it's gone over the top. Coming from the right boot of Kajay Fletcher. That's not a bad way to introduce himself to the 
contest. Was climbing though. Dintel will have belief. Here is Zilla and Clark. Offside. They will have belief and they have 18 minutes plus stoppage time to turn that belief into a goal. Here they come again launching another attack. Affleck. Hutchinson. Go. Three inside the box waiting. Hutchinson went for the strike. They're appealing for handed ball. And it is a handball and a free kick coming up for Kingston College. Even Kessler Anderson looks to be feeling the heat. Here is Holloway. The turnovers piling up from both teams. There are some tough challenges flying in. Hislop, that one climbs over the top, just one goal the difference, Casey with the advantage in this five goal encounter so far. So just awaiting some confirmation from that Heidel Garvey Maceo game. And we'll give that to you shortly. He's not a happy camper at the moment, but he does have the advantage. And a 16 minutes plus added time to hold on. Here's another mistake that could cost Dintel Technical. And I tell you what, Demario Daly will be disappointed with himself. Yeah, ended up trying to go for the pass, but although the pass was on, it wasn't an accurate one. Yeah, I think the disappointment is that he did not pick the pass. Free kick coming up for KC. <laughs> to the near post. Comes out to McKenzie. Very good work from the KC captain, Robert Sow. Decisive challenge, timely one as well. Malik White with the throw. 
Affleck. So with another block. Corner kick for Dintel Technical. Tyrese Gull will be looking to deliver. Shamir Hutchinson close by as well. Five inside the box waiting. Taken short. Gull whips it into the near post. That's cleared comfortably. Here's Shamir Hutchinson. Oh, that's another good ball inside the area. It might have been Affleck who was unable to take it down. Indeed, it was. Ninth minute. Affleck. Forward in breed. This matter far from over. One goal in the second half, and it has gone to Dintel Technical. Until not putting together the right combination of passes to get a clear cut chance in this one. Ten minutes remaining now. Until still strive on. Casey looking to defend stoutly. Sportsmax app moment brought to you by the Sportsmax app. And this moment is the opening goal of the contest, which came within 30 seconds. Tyrese Gull with a ferocious right footed strike. Brilliant work by Giovanni Affleck to get the deflection that fell into the path of Gull. And he struck his 21st goal of the season and Dintel Technicals first in the 2023 Champions Cup. Even after that bit of brilliance, though, they find themselves behind first 2-1, then 3-1, now 3-2 in the first minute of the encounter. Malik Williams receiving some treatment for Kingston College as well, their custodian. Into preparing themselves for a late surge here. I'm sure there will be a sizable chunk of added on time at the end of the 90. They need a goal to take this to penalties. Casey have had the opportunities to put this game beyond doubt. 
It's a good ball over to White. White does well to get inside the box. The cross is too close to Malik Williams. Kingston College getting ready to make a couple of substitutions. Darnell Edwards there, number six, and Marius Swaby there, number 20, will be making their way onto the park. Swaby replaces Daly. Edwards replacing Deshaun Byfield. Fresh legs on for KC as they look to hold on to this advantage. Been till temporarily down to 10 men. Malik White off the field getting some assistance. He stepped up big on the attacking end in this second half. They're big number 25. Malik White saying that he's okay, but Coach is giving other instructions. He will be substituted shortly. Yeah, the latest we're getting from the rural area. Glenmere 1 0 up against Mona. Heidel 4 2 up against Garva Maceo. We had heard it the other way around earlier. Kingston College 3 2 up looking for a fourth. Once again, the shot rises high over the top. Octavian Holloway with that right footed drive. 85th minute. And like we had at the end of the first half, you suspect there'll be a few minutes added on at the end of this one as a Dane Ranger comes on for Dintil Technical. They're number 16. Another driving run. From Shamir Hutchinson. Gets the football again. Well, here is Hutchinson with the delivery. His deliveries have been really good. Ball is well won. Affleck was in space. The ball didn't get to him. Yeah, the advantage not there for the until, so they'll get a chance with its free kick. Tyrese Gall might try and test the goalkeeper even from this distance, and he does have the ability, you know. 
there he is. Tremendous focus from Gull. Steps up, spans it. Into the wall, they're appealing for handball. Bredain Reed. KC don't seem too interested in going forward at this stage. They're trying to see this one out. Dintel need a goal. Oh, Affleck gets the football, gets inside the box. Affleck made the pass and it was cut out. It was a 50-50 ball. Might have continued his run, Giovanni Affleck. Surprised he didn't take it on with his left boot there, Affleck. Dintel on it again. Yeah, Zidane Clark stole it. Goal has it. Tyrese Gall wants pace in the middle to go for a shot. Doesn't get it. Odane Ranger. Mackenzie. Right at Malik Williams. 89th minute of this one. KC leading by three goals to two. Ricardo Chambers in a game of five goals, do you think it would be wrong to give the MVP to a player who hasn't scored? In a game of five goals, would it be wrong to give the MVP to a player on the losing end? Well, we still have some time about seeing who is going to lose, but let's see. I was, I was talking about the Mario Daly, by the way. 90th minute of the encounter. Daly won the penalty that got Kingston College level. Robert Sow has contributed two penalties for his team and has been really good at the back, so he is definitely a candidate. Casey trying to close this one off. Not from that play, they won't. Now with Holloway. We look to the fourth official to see how much time will be added on. Seven minutes is what Malika Reed says. Seven minutes for Dintil to try and level. Seven minutes for Kingston College to hold on for a spot in the Champions Cup semi-finals. Heidel leading in their game against Garvey Maceo. Alex Hislop stands over this one for Kingston College. That would make it two Manning Cup teams into the semi-finals. Glenmuir, they lead Mona. Hislop for Kingston College. Four-man wall. Two other players inside the box. He goes to Holloway, and Holloway struck it well, but it was also well taken by Asher Hutchinson in goal. Still more support coming in. I suspect that those are St. George's College or Clarendon College fans. Richard Hewitt getting a stretch.
not always the smartest thing to attempt if you are cramping. Is there another goal in this one? There's another yellow card for sure. And here it is. Go down. He's hoping though his team will not be out. But that is looking increasingly likely as the moments go by and that's a poor challenge from go after his poor touch who has cut a very frustrated figure in the second half goal 93rd minute yellow card KC looking for a 93rd minute goal not that they need it but it would certainly kill this match off as a contest. Go. Driving at the Kingston College defense. Appeals for the free kick, doesn't get it. That's good defending. Dintel desperate now. And now they have a free kick. Kessler Anderson having a stern word with Kajay Fletcher, the KC number 16. And yeah, the Dentil players are really feeling it now. Yeah, they, I think they have been feeling the heat much more than the Kingston College players, a lot of substitutes used by Vassarena, so they seem the more fresh team. The Intel have been in the wars for sure. I guess it's not as hot down in Linstead. Ball swung in, headed away. Lifted back inside the area, falls neatly for Malik Williams in the Kingston College goal. 95th minute now, two and a half minutes to go, and Kingston College Continue to hold a 1-0 advantage. And no one of the purples go down. Vassarena seemingly going crazy at how his team is managing this one. This one got away from Dintel Technical in the final 15 to 20 minutes of the first half. Where from 1-0 up, they found themselves 3-1 behind. And although Giovanni Affleck has scored an excellent goal in the second half, it is not enough. And now they have under two minutes to try and send this one to penalties. O'Neill Thomas, the man who brought them to the final in the 2021-2022 campaign, is staring down a first round quarterfinal exit in 2023. <laughs> Time ticking away. Kingston College with the ball where they would want it. Didn't he'll get it back immediately. One minute left. Vassar Reynolds has seen it all before. has managed these situations many times before.
and they're managing it well again. Hisla gives the ball away in a dangerous area as well. Goal thought about a shot, then decided against it. Almost lost possession of the ball. Bredain returns it left side. Ball played forward. That is well cut out by Darnell Edwards. We are into time added on to added time. We're in the eighth minute of seven added on as this one floats inside the area. It's taken by Malik Williams and that may well be it. Kessler Anderson has a quick look at his watch and decides that's it. The Kingston College train keeps rolling in the 2023 edition of schoolboy football in the land of wood and water once again against the odds Vassar Reynolds and his purples have come up with another fine performance dogged at times hard working but once again they get the job done and they deny one of the top teams from the Da Costa Cup with a 3-2 victory Massive disappointment for Dintail because they thought they had this one in the bag. And definitely after they got the opening call after just 30 seconds, they would have been thinking about the semi-finals. But it's KC who are advancing. They beat Dintail Technical by three goals to two at the National Stadium in Kingston, Jamaica. Kester Anderson. As soon as he sent the game on its way, we had the opening goal. Only 30 seconds in. Brilliant work here by Giovanni Affleck, getting a deflection and the ball falling to Tyrese Gow, who absolutely buried it with a ferocious right-footed effort. Here he is, 21st goal of the season and opening Dintel Technicals Champions Cup campaign, 1-0. Malik Williams had no chance. Kingston College. Took some time to get into the game. Damien Smith with a left-footed drive just over the top. Casey would get the equalizer. A penalty. The shot coming from Demaria Daly. Richard Ewart with the handed ball and Robert Sow stepping up to level for Kingston College. It was 1-1. And then in the 44th minute, second KC goal coming, and this was a good one. His love with the pass, the cross from Smith, and the finish from Jaheim McLean. Love the header, great build up. This is neat football from Kingston College. Asher Hutchinson diving as if it was FIFA, but to no avail. 2 1. Then they made it 3 1. Still in the first half, Asher Hutchinson left with no choice absolutely no choice but to take down Deshaun Byfield got a yellow card for it showed some speed there Byfield and Saul stepped up again this time went to the right of goalkeeper Hutchinson he gets the wrong way but couldn't get there in time and the Kingston College went up by three goals to one that's how they went to the halftime break in the second half that was another lovely cross coming from Damien Smith and a terrific save this one from Jaheim McLean should have been put home detail technical they found life this is Holloway for Asha Hutchinson who does brilliantly to escape three defenders picked out the outstanding Giovanni Affleck. That is a terrific finish from Affleck as well. Fabulous technique. Manic White was ecstatic on the sidelines. But ultimately, that's all she wrote. And Kingston College would hold on for the 3-2 victory. Kingston College, 12 shots, 6 on target. Dintil, 7, 3 on target. 18 falls in the contest, 10 against KC. Yellow cards, all three going to Dintil technical players. 
Kingston College with 57% of possession to 43 for Dintel Technical. The Kingston College captain is the player of the match. And here we have our man of the match, Robert Seo. He will be presented with this award by Kadeen Webley, the junior brand manager for Digicel. Robert, we had a talk at the Champions Cup draw and you said, I'm ready, ready to take it all. You took the two penalties today. Are you the designated penalty kicker? Um, yes, um, we've been practice, practicing penalties um, throughout the week. And I've been finishing in the training session, so coach give me a, a, a head on to take the penalties. Well, you are the captain for this KC team. You guys now have more work to do, more jobs ahead, both in Manning Cup and the Champions Cup. Do you think that your boys are ready for it? Yes, we've been um, preparing throughout the um, summer, a lot of sacrifices. So we've been putting in the hard work, so I think we're ready, ready mentally and physically. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, thanks. And now we welcome the coach of Dental Technical. Coach, your boys fell short in this encounter, but in the second half, they managed to step up the tempo. What do you think went wrong today? I, I think we, we, we scored early. We scored early first two to three minutes of the game. I think uh, a little indiscipline creeping. You know, we started getting carried away, and so we can't see two penalty. You know, we come second half, and I think they, they, they did their best, you know. They give everything that they could today. Well, the match did start around 3 o'clock. It was very hot, very hot conditions out here today. Do you think that affected your boys any at all? No, definitely. We have some, we have some injury concern coming into the game. We have three players out coming into the game. And then during the warm-up, we lose our next player again. So I think, I think the team do give as best as they could, you know? Well, this season you've had back-to-back -back losses for your team. Is it deja vu all over again for Dintel at this stage of the season? Not a concern at this moment, you know. We know what we have to do, you know. Our main focus is the semi-final of the Dakasta Cup. Well, all the best. Okay. Now welcome the head coach of Kingston College, Coach Vassal Reynolds. Coach, what a great performance from your boys today. They have been pushing into the ascendancy. In your opinion, what do you assess today's game? How do you assess um, I think overall it was an even, even distributed game. Um, we were shocked by that 30 second goal by, by, by Dintil, um, but we had time to recover. And we did it the right time just before the break. Um, I, I thought we could have killed off the game from early out, you know, um, four or five goals up, but um, and then we allowed Dintil back into the game. They also played well and pegged us back, um, but the fighting spirit that my team would have been exhibiting from the side of the commission, uh, we saw that in this play today, and um, I'm pretty satisfied with the result and the fight in the end. Is that a strategy that you'd want to use in the upcoming matches to shut down the game very early? It's a part of our nature in terms of fighting when the challenges come over here. Sometimes you just have to sit back and, and, um, and roll the dice and fight. Um, we had to do that. We were getting some cramps in the end, so we had to do a lot of defending. Um, they were sending numbers forward. I thought we didn't manage it as much as probably sometimes when we won position on the ball, we could have easily really passed and come out instead of kicking away the ball. But, um, you know, it's part of something that we have to look, look, look at and, um, and, and, um, and prepare for the next game. Will you go as far as to say that your boys have exceeded your expectations and anything from here is a bonus? I wouldn't want to call it a bonus. Um, it's not by luck that we are here. I think we all have performed well and deserve to be here. Yes, I think we'd have exceed, exceeded um, expectation, but the fact that we are here, we appreciate it, and we wanted to give it our best shot going forward. Well, you have two semi-finals to focus on. Do you feel that your boys have what it takes to conquer both? Certainly. It's about the mental aspect now. It's about some recovery now, but we're in two semi-finals. Let's see. Okay, Coach. All the best. Thanks Thank much. you. Yeah, final score in quarterfinal one at the National Stadium this afternoon. Kingston College beating Dintel Technical by three goals to two. They advance to the semi-finals of the Champions Club. Clarendon College, St. George's College coming up next. Yo, Issa. High school boy football look this season.
people them ready you know all right then pick up spanning cup hold it for your shield you make we link up we watch the champions cup ben francis what a cup which team are win the championship this season yo it's a pop up dive a school i got finished the league and beat now which you that got collect the golden boat and be the favorite for the people yo it's a missy fans are roll out all boat be a flag for a vehicle looking at the crowd but low that support us from school and community too people nothing that this time some are listening to prayer they must have a bunch of fun tv too country and turn your night be one reason it's a school boy football come come look one look all which team are the best and i got better than the best of the fire team beat your chest it's a school boy football that team could rise and that team could fall but they never will know until the whistle blows are run come enjoy the show yo it's a that, that competition are never a fit nice so people love see when boy i get nice up on the field i'm going to score from far and them love with peaceful and the youths now wow yo it's a school boy football no local the youths are move on to international big league and i still people are but member wish party start is a school boy football